Politics Insider had an interesting report that I wanted to share with you. The Trump administration reportedly dismissed intelligence, uh, intelligence findings showing that refugees don't pose a significant national security threat. The Trump administration reportedly dismissed intelligence findings last year saying that refugees don't pose a significant threat to the United States. Former government officials told NBC News that a top Justice Department deputy said in a September 2017 meeting that Attorney General Jeff Sessions didn't agree with the intelligence findings. Instead, the Trump administration released a different report that highlighted the national security risks posed by foreigners. So, the National Counterterrorism Center provided the report. That's nonpartisan. They're just saying, hey man, just so you know, to make reasonable um, public policy decisions, here are the facts. And they gave them the facts. And they said, okay, now do with this what you will. Well, what they decided to do was say, we don't like the facts. We need a safe space, and we need to have our emotions coddled, um, and we're snowflakes, so inconvenient facts will be uh, summarily dismissed, and instead, we will put out our own fake report where we fudge the numbers. And that's exactly what they did, and there was a lot of criticism of the report that they did release. So... Hey, it's Ben Shapiro who's famous for saying facts don't care about your feelings or something to that effect. Um, well, that's what needs to be said to Jeff Sessions and Donald Trump. Because here we have facts that fly in the face of their ideology and they're like, yeah, that won't do. So let's, let's, let's get something else going here. And listen, this shouldn't surprise any of you because we've discussed, for example, the libertarian Cato report. They looked into it, and they found, after they crunched the numbers, a, a very rigorous study, they found that native citizens are way more likely, per capita, to commit crime than uh, undocumented immigrants and documented immigrants. So all different kinds of immigrants are less likely to be criminals than the native population. So... What that shows is that stereotype of like, well, obviously these criminal immigrants are coming in and the whole point is that they're committing crimes. That's just not true. Now, that doesn't mean there aren't some that do it. And in those instances, I'm totally fine with deporting those people. I don't think that's a problem. Um, but don't mislead everybody about the reality of the situation because that's exactly what you're doing. You're misleading. And don't be a sucker because this really is the oldest trick in the book. What you do is you get middle-class white people to hate people of color, and immigrants. And you get middle-class white people to think the reason you're struggling is not because of the rich who are rigging the rules in their favor and against you. The reason you're struggling is because people with no money and no power, poor people of color and immigrants, they're the ones who are somehow robbing you and, you know, through the welfare state and uh, making your life miserable and blame them. Well, again, that is the oldest trick in the book. This way, the rich get to continue rigging the rules and running out the back door with all the money. So, you know, you'll, you'll be focused on petty crime as opposed to wage theft, which is, is more than petty crime. All petty crime combined. Wage theft is more than that. We gave a fucking bailout to Wall Street of $29 trillion. They're robbing taxpayers. So you should be mad at white dudes in suits and ties on Wall Street. Not at immigrants. But that's the classic trick, is you redirect the anger to communities that are already disenfranchised, and then as regular people, middle class and poor people, fight amongst themselves, you run out the back door with all the money, that's exactly what Jeff Sessions is doing, that's exactly what Donald Trump is doing, which is why they dismissed a report that didn't give them the answers that they wanted.